Hey YouTube family, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Well, like the title says, the Music Man AX20 is back. Let me show you what we got going on. And here it is. Got the body and the neck, and that's all you're going to see. <laughs> I don't want to show you how it's finished just yet. That'll be part two. I want to finish it, set it all up, and then part two will be the explanation of why I had it finished the way I had it finished. And uh, it's kind of a dedication guitar. There's uh, some a name and some initials on the front. And I'll show you uh, what that is and why. I went a totally different route than what I discussed in the first video. But I will show you what I'm going to install in this thing. So for Pups, we have... The GFS Dream 90 uh, P90 pickups. So they're humbucker size P90s and uh, they get rave reviews. And these things, I'll tell you what, they got some weight to them, man. And they're the quick plugs. Super simple and super easy. If those don't work out, I have another set of uh, tele pickups that I could, you know, throw in there. Uh, what else do we got? What are the other goodies here? So. Here are the original parts. So this bridge will be getting a little upgrade. I'll be keeping the bridge plate, but I'll be upgrading the saddles with these string saver high performance graph tech saddles. So that should be cool because I absolutely hate those little stamp saddles. You know, these things. I don't like the design. I don't like the way they're shaped. I just uh, don't like them. So, the bridge is going to be getting an upgrade. I ordered some shims. This guitar is definitely going to need one. If you remember from the first video where I kind of showed you this, saddles are like touching the bridge plate. And look at how far these screws are up. Like everything was bottomed out. So, We'll be getting a nice wooden shim. I got some lovely full-size volume pots. These are by Fleur, 250K. Uh, yep, pack of two, so these should work out well. We're getting some brand new tuners. So these are next-gen locking tuners. 19 to 1 gear ratio. I have these on my MUZ guitar that I blacked out and they are fantastic tuners. So I can get these right here in Canada. So I got a new set of these. Four on one side and two on the other. Right? Match the headstock. Um, it's also getting a new switch. So I went with this cash switch. Uh, because at the time, I couldn't get, like from Amazon, I couldn't get a real kind of blade switch. Um, and the ones at my local store, they're like 35 bucks for an American blade switch. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, you know, I thought I was going to get this guitar way sooner than I did. <laughs> so uh, I was in a rush, so I ordered this cash switch. So these are patent pending switches. I have this in one of my guitars. I just can't remember which one. And uh, they work great. They're a nice heavy switch and they're super easy to wire. And lastly, we'll be getting a new Pure Tone output jack to replace, you know, the super cheap one that comes with these guitars. So yeah, see, lots of flex there. So yeah, I gotta get rid of that. So that's it. Everything else, the original hardware will be on there. Like the neck plate will be the original and the bridge plate will be the original and the jack plate will be the original. So that's it folks. All these parts going on this guitar. And it should come together really well. I will tell you one thing. I did prep the neck. And there was not one high fret on that neck. The frets on that thing were perfectly level. Couldn't believe it. 
I was just flabbergasted. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So that's a good thing. All I did was polish them up and uh, condition the neck. So on video number two, I will give you the reveal and some sound demos. Wish me luck for the assembly. You guys take care. Have a great week and God bless.